Welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. My name is Aaron. I'm making an emergency video today. This video is time sensitive. If you are involved in cryptocurrency in any way, you must understand what is happening because big changes are being made. Now, I'm going to clue you into everything in this video, so watch the entire thing. Again, if you're involved in cryptocurrency, you must understand what is going on. Now, if you are unaware what I'm talking about, you might want to start with our video that we made yesterday. I'll leave a link to this in the description. We called our senator live on air. We told you, we gave you the basics, exactly what is going on. So start with our video from yesterday. I'll leave a link in the description. But if you haven't seen it, let me just give you the basics. In the infrastructure bill in the United States, among many things, one of the things that they're trying to do with cryptocurrency is impose mass surveillance. They're doing this by redefining what a broker is. You know, normally a broker is a term used to describe businesses like a Coinbase, a Robinhood, basically any business that touches crypto. Now they're trying to redefine this term in a very broad way, basically a catch-all term for miners, for DeFi startups for developers, for protocols, whether it's proof of stake or proof of work, they're trying to say those things are brokers. And if they can define those things as brokers, then they can impose mass surveillance. Now, there have been some changes in the past 24 hours that you need to know about. Let me take you through these. First of all, it's important to note, I'm sure you've seen it, the entire cryptocurrency world is coming together, encouraging everybody who's in cryptocurrency to call or email your lawmakers. I hope you did that. We showed you how to do that. We called our senator live on air in yesterday's video. But it's important to note, there is good changes to this bill and there are bad changes to this bill. So what we want to see, because there are senators on our side, we want to see the widen Tumi Loomis amendment go through. This is what we want. The bad news is there are senators not on our side. Senator Warner, Portman, and Cinema are trying to introduce changes that would make the bill even worse. So let me tell you what's been going on in the past 24 hours. The first change that was made is for whatever reason, they said proof of work is exempt from being a broker. Proof of work is exempt from mass surveillance. They just chose one. So that's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, seemingly just based on whims of knowledgeless people who are governing this. They just said proof of work is okay, but proof of stake, uh, developers, DeFi protocols, you guys are still subject to mass surveillance. You know, that's like if in the 90s, they just would have chose the winner right then. Yahoo, you're okay. Google, you have a different protocol. You can't do anything. You're subject to mass surveillance. It doesn't make any sense. So that was the first amendment they tried to implement. They excluded proof of work, which is good, I guess, but nowhere near good enough. So Senator Warner revised his amendment yet again. He now excludes both proof of work and proof of stake. So based on just another whim of his, he says, okay, now two things are okay, but not any other consensus mechanism. I mean, I'm speechless. Now they're just picking two winners. There are other consensus mechanisms. Why do this? What about the devs? What about everybody else who are still considered brokers under this broad term? See, the bigger picture here is that this whole entire process is broken. They're trying to just rush this infrastructure bill through without any consideration of what they're actually voting on. They don't even understand what they're trying to push through, let alone giving the American people time to understand you know, what is being legislated around them. I mean, there are DeFi protocols, governance DeFi protocols that take more time to push major changes through than what the US government is doing, which says a lot. So Senator Warner has changed his amendment to protect consensus mechanisms beyond proof of work. It's a small positive step, but not nearly good enough. It's just unreal that this is how Congress wants to handle major crypto legislation. We need time to make smart decisions. The process is broken. Think about it like this. Protocol devs, so just developers, are still not protected under what Senator Warner is proposing as an amendment. So developers could be regulated like a broker and could be subject to mass surveillance. That doesn't make any sense. More changes must be made. 
I'll leave a link to this in the video below. And again, I encourage you to watch our video from yesterday where we call a senator live on air. You can email, you can call, you can still make a difference. If you're involved in cryptocurrency, this might be the difference between your bags 5xing this year and 20xing this year, to put it bluntly. That's what we're talking about here. Now, the good thing is this. Bitcoin does not care. Ethereum does not care. Both of these protocols, both of these cryptocurrencies pumped into the news and everything going on. So, I mean, the more censorship resistant your protocol is, um, you know, the, the more time it's had to distribute, the better it is. And both Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are not considered securities under U.S. law, they're both considered commodities, which is good. Um, they're both pumping. So this is what we like to see. Whether we're talking about it from a TA point of view, it looks bullish. Bitcoin has convincingly confirmed a breakout from its multi-month range. This is bullish action. This is bullish momentum. Or whether we're talking about it from an on-chain point of view, the number of new users coming on the Bitcoin network continues to reach all-time highs. New users are at all-time highs. This is incredibly bullish for a network. Think about it like this. We are still so early. The world right now is divided into two categories. Those who understand the why of Bitcoin, about 1% of the world's population at most, and then there's the other 99%. Imagine what will happen when 99% of the world open their eyes to Bitcoin, to Ethereum, to cryptocurrency, and understand the why. Plenty of upside ahead if you're in cryptocurrency right now. Because again, think about it like this. The top five most valuable companies in the world are US internet companies. Imagine if the US politicians had regulated these to death back in the 90s. The top five companies in the world today all started in the internet boom in the 90s and the early 2000s. And now they're the biggest in the game providing all sorts of value. And it's like, it's like they're trying to kill innovation. It doesn't make any sense. But once again, Bitcoin does not care. Bitcoin looks primed to run to $47,000. Bitcoin is back in the green, facing little to no resistance ahead. Shorts have been liquidated. Smart people are saying that we might be entering a little bit of a short squeeze, and since there's no resistance, it's likely to hit 47,000 in the short term. How about Ethereum? Ethereum is looking great. Ethereum rises above 3,000 for the first time since May price of ETH keeps climbing after the London hard fork upgrade, recapturing a level it hasn't held in nearly three months. So from a price perspective, it's looking great. From a fundamental perspective, Ethereum is looking great. Now over 10,000 Ethereum is burned. This is supply leaving the market and we can thank uh, Ethereum's robust and large ecosystem. OpenSea NFT platform, Uniswap, Decentralized Exchange, Axie Infinity, Play to Earn Game, Tether, Stablecoin, different NFTs, different versions of decentralized exchanges, MetaMask, Stablecoin, all of these things are contributing to transactions on the network and ETH is getting burned, taking supply off the market. In fact, from a US dollar point of view, 30 million in Ethereum burned in just two days. Think about it like that. This is just two days. This is new after the EIP 1559 launch. The Ethereum network has removed 30 million from circulation since the London hard fork came into effect August 5th, which changed the way miners are rewarded and actually, in my opinion, greatly improved Ethereum's monetary policy. And keep in mind, my friends, the success that we're seeing with DeFi and NFTs and play to earn games this is only going to get bigger, I suspect. Ethereum game Axie Infinity daily users grow 10x since June to hit 1 million. Now, Axie Infinity has turned into the brand name, but what happens when two or three of these games you know, reach mass popularity? Here's a list of the best play to earn games with NFTs or cryptocurrency ranked by all sorts of things, genre, platform, blockchain, earn NFTs, earn crypto, invest money, gameplay activity, is it fun? And you know, there's all sorts of games. Most of these I haven't heard of, most of these I haven't played, but if you're interested in you know, participating in a play to earn type of game, do it. So here's Axie Infinity right here. Part of the reason it's been so successful in my opinion is that it's available in a lot of places, it's compatible with Ethereum, it's actually fun to play. 
Um, I also am familiar with The Sandbox, which is good. And I'm also familiar with Gods Unchained, which is you know up and coming. It's one of the best ones, in my opinion. But we don't know which ones will end up being the, you know, the best of the best. Guild of Guardians is really good, I hear. So this is something we're constantly watching on this channel. Subscribe. We will always keep you updated. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, this is a major piece of news as well. Brian Brooks, the former comptroller of the United States under Trump, resigns as CEO of Binance U.S., his departure comes just months after he was hired for the position. So when he took this position at Binance US, because he was coming directly from the White House, directly from, you know, rubbing elbows with people who, you know, legislate this stuff and control this stuff, this was seen as a hugely bullish thing for Binance US and crypto in general. To be honest, him leaving just after three months isn't, doesn't, you know, bode well. It doesn't instill confidence in me. But at the moment, Bitcoin, Ethereum, crypto does not care again. Does he know something that we don't? That remains to be seen. Now, the cool thing is, unlike the dot-com bubble, which was primarily confined to the U.S. and accredited investors, cryptocurrency is open. It's for everybody. It's global. And these projects won't be stopped. They'll probably be hindered by U.S. if U.S. were to say no. But, you know, they'll just go elsewhere. And projects that are building, that continue to build, I'm bullish on. The first fully public Cardano testnet to support smart contracts is now live. Do we have any Cardano fans in the audience? Cardano is making steady progress towards launching a fully functional smart contract platform by September this year. Yesterday, on the 6th of July, uh, it should say 6th of August, yesterday, on the 6th of August, 2021, the parent company of the largest proof-of-stake blockchain, IOHK, Cardano, announced on Twitter that the test net to support smart contracts is publicly available and new users onboarding has begun. Cardano continues to build. This is great. Tezos. Tezos successfully completes Granada network update. This new upgrade will enhance several existing network features. Well, TLDR, what this does is it cuts block times in half and reduces smart contract gas consumption. Do we have any Tezos fans in the audience? They continue to build, which is good. It doesn't really have the same grassroots movement that Bitcoin, Ethereum, or even Cardano does. But still, they're making moves. We will keep you informed. Which cryptocurrencies do you want us to cover in the future? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Things change on a daily basis. We keep you informed on a daily basis. And with that being said, I'll see you tomorrow.